After five days of testimony and 19 hours of deliberation, the fate of a Cambridge man is finally known. A Polk County, Wisconsin jury decided that Levi Aker Kendall acted in self-defense and did not intend to kill Peter Kelly. The two had gotten into an argument while fishing on the St. Croix River. Aker Kendall said that he feared for his life when Kelly tried to pull him from his car. That's when he stabbed Kelly, killing him. Bill Hudson has been following this trial since it began. He joins us now with more. Bill? This was a self-defense case all along, you guys, absolutely. As attorneys for Levi Aker Kendall tried to convince jur the jury that he was not the aggressor and he wanted to leave without a fight with Peter Kelly. Now, as deliberations wore on through the weekend, it took one lone juror a bit more time to see it as such. We, the jury, find the defendant, Levi Aker Kendall, not guilty. There was no fanfare when the verdicts were read, just shocked silence. Seven women and five men decided that Levi Aker Kendall acted in self-defense when he stabbed Peter Kelly. Prosecutor Dan Steffen expressed sadness for Kelly's family. You know, the person who's responsible for the death of their loved one is not going to be convicted of anything at this point is obviously extremely difficult. Aker Kendall had a brief moment with his defense team as his family was reserved in their relief. They left the courthouse without wishing to comment on their son's acquittal. The victim's brother, though, Mike Kelly, expressed disappointment, calling the verdicts an injustice. For me, I, I, I know my parents, they're crushed. We're all crushed. Our family will never be the same, and it'll never be over for me. The jury had been deadlocked 11 to 1 for acquittal, much of its deliberation. Aker Kendall's lawyers say the pivotal moment came on Friday as he took the stand. I'm so sorry. Calling the defendant's own testimony to jurors honest, sincere, and heartfelt. I think that uh, ultimately when the jury was instructed in the law and attempting to put their, that they were instructed to put themselves in his place at that moment, um, that, was a, that was a turning point. Now, we also learned today that negotiations continued behind the scenes on a plea deal throughout the weekend, in fact. Had it been accepted, Aker Kendall may have gotten off with as little as his time already served for the second degree reckless homicide. But his attorneys tell us that he insisted on letting the jurors decide his fate. And in the end, that was the correct decision. Well, I know, I understand that Peter Kelly's widow chose not to be in the courtroom today when the verdict was read. Right. So she, she had an idea too. Yeah, she had been in the courtroom all along, but uh, when the family learned last night that the jury appeared to be deadlocked, that uh, one holdout, they knew it wasn't going to go their way. She chose not to witness the obvious bitterness of her husband's killer being exonerated. So yeah. you can certainly understand that.